Hello friends, welcome back to online classes. Today we are going to learn word stress. This is the first class. Before learning word stress, we should learn what is syllable. What is syllable? You had already learned in first year. What is syllable? A syllable is a unit of vowel form with or without consonant. For example, fox. Here, F is consonant, X is consonant, but in between, one sound is there. What is that? Fox. Or sound is there. As well as, excuse. X. A is the vowel sound. Qs. U. U. That is vowel sound. Next. Unhappy. Un. A. Ha. A. P. E. Here, three vowel sound are there. Next one, paper. Paper. A, O. Two vowel sounds are there. Now, we come to understand that a syllable is nothing but a unit of vowel sound with or without consonant. Now, then, syllabic division. This is also known as division of syllables. How to identify in a word, how many syllables are there? For example, new. I like you have learned before. What is that? New. E. What is that? Vowel. It gives the vowel sound. New. How many sounds are there? Only one. So, in this word, only one sound is there. That's why it is called monosyllabic word. What is that? Monosyllabic word. Next one. Plenty. Plan. T, plan, A, T, E. Two sounds are there. That's why it is disyllabic word. Next one. Represent. Re, pra, zent. One, two, three vowel sounds it consists. That's why it is called trisyllabic word. As well as next one. Decoration. De, co, re, Shun. Decoration. Here, one, two, three, four syllable it consists. That's why these kind of words are called poly or tetrasyllabic words. The next one, if you take pen, it also consists of only one sound. That's why it is mono. Add two. Add two. It is two consisted. That's why it is di. And beautiful. In this, it is somewhat different. See? E, A, U. These are three letters should be considered as vowel letters. But how many sounds it gives? Bu, only U. One sound is there. This is one sound. T, and the sound. Full, U, and the sound. Means one, two, three. This word consisted only three syllables. That's why it is called trisyllabic word. Next one. Consequences. How can we divide? Con, C, Quan, Sis. Con, C, Quan, Sis. Here, one, two, three, four. This is also called as poly or tetra. More than four is also, they are considered as poly or tetra syllabic words. Now, we have somewhat command over syllabic division. Without command over syllabic division, it is not possible to identify stress. So now we are going to main topic. Stress, it is also known as accent. Why should we learn stress or accent? To get command over English, we want to speak as a native speaker. The native speakers follows full phonetics. So we are not the native speakers, just we are learners. That's why, right. if you want to speak as a native speaker, you must get command over stress or accent. Now, what is mean by stress or accent? It is nothing but a syllable which emphasizes than another syllable in a word is called stress or accent. What? Once I repeat, a syllable which emphasizes than another syllable means here in a word. One or two or three or more, whatever it may be, it consists of the syllables. One syllable 
that stronger than remaining syllables. That stronger one is called stress or accent. Now, one side, what is that? A syllable which emphasizes is called stress. This is identified with a vertical bar. What is vertical bar? This is called vertical bar. This is called vertical bar. Okay, you don't uh, underline in the exam or you don't uh, round it up. It should not be considered or marks will not be awarded if you round or if you underline it. You should identify the stress uh, only with the following of vertical bar. Now we are going to see stress rules. How to identify stress? The first point here, with the weak prefixes, we have to use stress. Where we have to use with the weak prefixes? What are weak prefixes? Before that, what is prefix? Prefix means, for example, unhappy word is there. In this, happy is called a root word. Before we are writing un, means before the root word, what the letters are there, those are called prefix. And also, suffix will be there. What is suffix? After the root word, if you add any letters, that should be called as suffix. Now we get command over what is prefix and what is suffix. Now, we know prefix. Prefixes means root word before if you add any letter, that should be considered as prefix. Now we prefixes such as A, B, D, Re, Kan, etc. words if you add before that, after that root, after that sound, the next part should be stressed. For example, if one example if you see, we come to understand. For example, alone. In this, two parts are there. One part is a, and the part is lone. Here, how can we pronounce this? Actually, low is right. Alone is more natural. Alone, alone means here stress should be identified here. Why? I already told you. After weak prefix such as a, b, d, re, kan. Means here, what is the weak prefix? A. So that's why we have to use after A. Means here, this stress part or this part is more stronger than before. The next one, B side. How can we pronounce this? Side is right. The side. Means after B. What is here? B is the weak prefix. So we have to use the stress after B. Next one, refrain. Re, it is weak prefix. Frame means here we have to stress here. Means refrain. And the next one, continue. Continue is not natural. Continue is more natural. Means after can we have to use stress. Then angle. The stress is used with the noun adjective. How can we use noun and adjectives always takes in the beginning. The stress will use in the beginning. How can you pronounce this? It is not record. It is record. What is record? So the stress is used in the beginning. In the next word, absent is wrong. It is a natural. Absent is natural. So, first one is stress. Conduct. It is not conduct. Conduct means first part is stress. Scarylion. Scarylion. Here means what is scary? Scary is actually adjective. What is lion? It is noun. So, according to rule, nouns takes first, as well as adjectives also takes first. So, this is scary line. Scary line. Next one. Painted berries. Painted berries. Painted berries. Painted berries. Now, it is correct. It is natural. 
What is tainted? Why? Because it is added to barriers. It is not. The next one. Verbs and prepositions. The second in verbs and prepositions. In second the syllable is stressed. Means with the verbs and prepositions. Second the syllable is stressed. What is here second syllable? First we have to what I told you in the beginning. I already told you that. If you get command over syllabic division, it is very easy to identify. See, what is syllabic division? Record. So, record what already we have seen. Now, this is noun, but this is verb. What is the difference between noun and verb? Noun should be pronounced as record. Record. But verb should be pronounced as record. Means after re we have to use why because here only two syllables are there re one syllable chord and the syllable so here we have to use next one present present it is not present it is not means present means we have to use here as well as conduct sometimes it should be called as noun and sometimes it is also what verb Conduct when conduct that is noun, but it is verb if you want to speak about verb, then it is conduct. Conduct is the right conduct is natural. Now, next one a word which is in team, for example, a team. 19. See here, teen. Word is. The word ends in teen. The word ends in teen. That's why this teen part is stressed. Means the stress should be used on teen part. Here, the stress should be used on teen part. Another word. A word which ends in a word self or self. Self or Z. For example, if you take whoever, whenever, myself, himself, themselves. You see, two parts are there. One is the root part, and the one is self part, and ever part. See here, whoever. How many are there? Who ever to other so ever part is present. ever part started after o means before the e and after o we have to use the vertical bar and the next one one hour one hour one ever one ever here ever is present means after n and before e we have to use in the next one myself my self my after Y and before S we have to use. Next one, him, self. Him after and before S we have to use stress. Then, them. So, what I told you, Zal is the part is stress. Means, after them, means the stress is used before S. One more word. Words which end in E, E, et, K. A. Words which end in E, E, T, K, A. Then, that kind of words take the stress on ultimate syllable. What is ultimate syllable? Last syllable is called ultimate syllable. First, you have to follow the syllabic division. If you divide the syllables, very easy you can find that what is the last syllable is. See here, first one, M, plow, E. So what is that? E. It ends in E. But according to the syllable rule, what we have learned? A unit of vowel sound with or without consonant sound. This is only with the vowel sound. But here, before consonant should be considered, means 
that consonant letter also should be considered into the account of vowel means this is total called as syllable not only this part this is total part is called syllable so what is the first syllable m plus e e is the last syllable in this word that's why e means you don't identify e e before okay after o and before y you have to use vertical the next one engineer engineer near this is trusser near this in j near near this part is trusser next one gazette gazette ga z ga z so here we have to use how many are there two when a carpal comes means it is not giving vowel is not producing its sound it should not be considered as a vowel if it produces any sound then it should be considered as syllable it is not giving its sound it is in silent that's why you don't consider this is as a syllable means this is one and this is another one two only in this word syllables that's why after the first syllable gazit why because it is ended in e t t e means it started from z that's why after a before z you have to use vertical part and next to you make you make you neck you neck you neck is a correct pronunciation it is natural you neck is a natural you make is natural means you after you neck so neck it consisted only one and you one two syllables it consisted nick part is stressed here why because what is the rule u e e it ended in okay u e e this is not syllable including n i -E. this is called nick here to here it is called syllable that's why the last syllable is nick the first syllable is u that's why last syllable before means n before u after we have to identify next one millennia millennia not millionaire millennia millionaire near a i r e before consonant is there this sound should be considered here to here it is a part means it is a syllable that's why after o before n we have to use vertical part next another rule in next class we are going to discuss